We are in Reykjavik, Iceland. That's right. We are at a small island in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and we're going to go find Lael Wilcox. Lael just flew in from Kenya, I believe, from the migration gravel race, but now she's about to race the West Fjords Away Challenge, and honestly, so am I. Four days, gravel stage race in Iceland in the West Fjords. Let's go find Lael Wilcox as she gets her bike ready and see what makes her faster. On a beautiful day. This is a beautiful, this no is a beautiful wind. day in Iceland right now. No wind, yeah. That's, no wind. That's the key. <laughs> little bit of sun. All right, here we are. East of Fjord, Iceland, just about to take off on the West Fjords Away Challenge. Lael, can you walk me through the bike that you are about to rip on this amazing yeah, adventure? Yeah, I'm super pumped. I'm riding the Specialized Crux uh, with Zip 303 Firecrest wheels. I just put some aero bars on. Um, everything else is pretty straightforward. 38 tooth front chain ring, 10 to 50 cassette. This is the, the mullet. This is the SRAM Axis mullet group, yeah? Oh my God, I love it. Every bike. This is Lael's wife and constant travel companion. You guys are kind of known as the team. You guys are inseparable, right? Yeah. Um, and I, you know, I, I know you take photos and that's kind of the jam, but uh, talking with Lael, she was saying that you guys actually do a ton of touring together and you do a, a, like ride a lot of these routes that Lael FKTs and like does these attempts on before, right? Mm -hmm. And that's like a huge part that I think a lot of people maybe don't know about you is you're an avid cyclist. I am, yeah, whenever we have time, especially if we go somewhere where it's not maybe the easiest to get to, like Iceland or Kyrgyzstan, yeah. we'd love to have the chance to tour beforehand, uh, just so Lel could kind of see the terrain and see where she could get food and kind of just experience the people and the culture. So we started East of Fjord. We're gonna be back there in five days. Right. We're here with Lael, start of the West Fjords Way Challenge. And Leo, what got you into like this type of riding, like ultra endurance riding? Oh my gosh, you know what? It was, I was injured from running. I used to be a runner. Yeah. And I was so frustrated that I couldn't run that I started borrowing my mom's road bike and riding as far as I could. On my two days off, I was a bartender. And I was like, I was in Alaska. And yeah. I was like, I'm gonna take the train to Seward and ride home. That's crazy. 127 miles. I had never done anything. And that's like where you that. started. You started riding like 100 plus miles. Yeah. So innocently, like, the distance was just there. I was just like, I just want to see if I can make it. Yeah. And my mom's like, I'll pick you up if you have a problem. Yeah, yeah, mom's got your and back. I was like, no way. I'm doing this. And I like took the train. I had a pair of like corduroy pants <laughs> and shorts. Yeah. And I didn't have any bags. So I just threw them away. <laughs> that's how you do it. And then like 10 hours later, I was like, I'm freezing. <laughs> and I bought a sweatshirt at a gas station. It was like the deadliest catch. Yeah. And that was it. And I was Go to so hook after that. pumped that I made it. I had so much fun. And then I just kept riding as far as I could. And now look at us. I know. We're in Iceland. You just came from Kenya to Iceland. That's where the vibe yeah. is. Amazing. We're already like 37 miles into our first day. Almost to the first waffle stop. Uh, so we just got done eating lunch, which for a race like this is kind of unheard of, right? That we stop oh as a group. Oh my gosh, it's the best because it's a spot where you have you stop the clock so everybody can stop and have a civilized lunch. And they had like a buffet and soup and toast and dessert. The dessert buffet. Coffee. It was wild. So normally when you do these ultra endurance races, you you don't stop. You eat on the bike, right? Oh what's gosh. your what's your refueling? I would be going straight to this thing and I saw they have like sandwiches in the fridge. I'd be like four sandwiches, two Cokes, and two bags of gummies. And then I'd be out again. Yeah, like five We'd minutes We'd all tops. be like rushing. Yeah. Up, yeah. And then pack it in my jersey and then go. And then I'd be like munching as I go. But it's like, there's no benefit to that here because you could actually sit the time and stops. eat. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it great? So it's it's really pleasant. Oh, Day one in the books. Amazing. Well done. <laughs> Got a good night's sleep last night? I did. So normally when you do ultras, are you someone that likes to get their sleep or do you like to push through? Like what's your sleeping game? I really like sleep, but I usually keep it to about four hours. Four for the hours. Stuff. For the longer stuff. So if you're doing something over a week, because your body kind of has to recover, right? You have to sleep a bit or you'll lose time in the long run. All right, one of the coolest things about this is that you, uh, you don't have to filter the water. There's just water everywhere, so. Look at that. I took my shoes off. Lael just straight went for it. 
<laughs> All right, just finished the West Fjords Way. That was amazing, Leo Wilcox and Rue. Thanks for following along. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Until next time, making you faster. <laughs>